name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Let us pause now and ask God to forgive us our sins. You raise the dead to life in your spirit, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You give light to those in darkness, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord, keep your family safe with unfailing care that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, may they be defended always by your protection. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. He brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and to all the wild animals. But none proved to be a suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. And while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that had been taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked, yet they felt no shame. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered the house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. 
she said in reply to Jesus. Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, for saying this you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. So we hear the uh, beautiful story of Genesis of God creating, creating man and woman and complement, they complement each other and are given to each other marriage. I, I really don't have much to say about this reading, but I do have an example. Joe, raise your hand. He and his uh, fiance Melanie are going to be married tomorrow. Uh, so, <laughs> so if you want advice, there's a lot of it here. <laughs> but I do want to say a few words about the gospel. Today, Jesus calls a woman a dog. Wow. We don't expect that out of Jesus, do we? But this is something that Mark has probably put on the lips of Jesus to make a point to the audience that this gospel is addressed to. This woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician woman. So Syrophoenicians, that empire was the dominant empire in the region before Rome. So they were probably oppressive. Um, she was Greek. She wasn't a Jew. She was a woman in a very patriarchal society. And she probably was affluent. And so those qualities were qualities that would probably make her dismissive, a dog, in the eyes of the people that Mark writes to. But today we see Jesus encounter this woman and heals her daughter. He recognizes her faith. He recognizes that she is made in the image and likeness of God. And there is no person, no person, exempt from God's love, God's mercy, God's forgiveness, God's healing. And I think that's important for us to realize because sometimes we can become very dismissive of people. We may not call them dogs, but we certainly may at times shun them, stay away from them, see them very much less than what we are. I think of the people that, we, that are our guests this week in winter relief. These are people who are homeless, they're poor. Some suffer from addiction, some from mental illness, some have just not had a break in life. And it's easy for us to dismiss them. But as Pope Francis says, you cannot know Christ unless you're willing to touch the, suffer, the, fre the flesh of the suffering Christ in other people. That's a lesson for all of us to learn and to keep in mind. So today as we eat the flesh of the Lord, let us pray that it gives us clear vision that we might see his flesh in every person we meet. Let us stand and bring our prayers to the mercy of our God. For all members of the church, may God give us the grace to persevere in times of trial and come to him in our needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who hold public office, may our merciful God guide and bless them in their service to their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering under the burden of mental illness, may the healing power of Christ give them strength. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may God dwell among us, draw us ever more deeply to him. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the faithful departed, may the Lord soon welcome them into the fullness of his kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. For the repose of the soul, 
of Bernadette Almond, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or whom do we pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. And entrusting the people of Ukraine to Our Lady, Hail Mary, Hail Mary full, full of, of grace, grace. The, the Lord is, is with you. Blessed are you among women. women. Blessed, Blessed is, is the fruit of your Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of thy death. Amen. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Lord our God, you once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty. Grant that they may now become for us the sacrament of eternal life. We pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming again in glory we await with unwavering hope. So with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
let us pray. O oh God, you have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and one chalice. Grant us to so live that made one in Christ. We may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. We pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Stop by for a coffee and munchkins so I don't eat all of them through the day. Have a good one. Thank you.